Welcome back. Over the last several decades, Idaho has welcomed thousands of refugees. KA Health Services has worked with many of them in the Magic and Treasure Valleys. Since opening in 2017, the Health Service Agency has helped almost 500 refugees and immigrants. KA offers counseling, crisis services, case management, and more to Idaho's refugee and immigrant communities. They're hosting a fundraiser tonight at their office on North Allenbaugh Street in Boise. It's happening right now until 7 p.m. Community a Partnership Coordinator Travis Thompson snuck away to join us here on the news at four. Travis, thanks for slipping away to tell us a little bit more about the event and what's your goal for tonight? Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, uh, it was a little noisy out there, so I wanted to kind of <laughs> come into a space that was a little bit better. Yeah, so it's basically just a, a great fundraising opportunity. So, um, so there's three resettlement agencies in Idaho, uh, two in, in Boise right now which is the Agency for New Americans and the International Rescue Committee. And then the other one is CSI's Refugee Center and Program down in Twin Falls. And so, you know, as a harvest event fundraiser, we're just wanting to give thanks and appreciation to all that these resettlement agencies do as far as bringing clients, bringing individuals to us. Uh, and so we, you know, really just want to be out there. And so the idea behind this is that we would love for the community to help fundraise so as some may know, most refugees do come to Idaho uh, with some a cash allowance that just kind of gets basic needs. However, as you guys may know, housing market right now has increased dramatically. And so certain things like uh, housing, basic needs, transportation, all of those things are really a huge need in our community right now. And so with an event like this, we're just hoping to get spread advocacy awareness and then also raise a little bit of funds that we can then give back to these resettlement agencies so they can use them to help their clients integrate properly into the community. Travis, how many refugees, asylees, immigrants have you guys helped since you started a few years ago? So we've basically since 2017, it's about a 500 accumulative that we've resettled or not resettled, sorry, that we've uh, assisted. And then 200 to 250 consistent clients we have right now between Boise and Twin Falls. And so, uh, yeah, so we realistically, once resettlement agencies receive individuals, they will need mental health services. And that's where agencies like ours comes in that we can help with case management, peer support, uh, therapy, whatever it might be to help the individual. Tell us a little bit about the fundraising event. You said you were you slipped away. It was a little bit noisy. Is it open to the public? If people can't, yeah, absolutely. if people can't make it there tonight, is there a way to donate online? Yes, absolutely. Great. So uh, for all those individuals that are out there voting afterwards, if you want to come by, say hi, snag some food, listen to some of our guest speakers come out. Uh, the event is from four to seven. Realistically, how we would like to have is just people come meet everyone uh, we have a couple guest speakers the irc and agency for new americans will all be speaking and then we also have some of our staff talking about their personal experience as 90 percent of our staff are actual refugees and former refugees as wow. well and so uh yeah just come out whenever get that voting done and come down and hang out. All right, Travis, again, it's happening at KA Health Services, the fundraiser tonight until seven o'clock at their office on North Allenball Street in Boise. Travis, thanks so much, and we'll be right back with more of the news at four.